Okay, so our um, convergence plot has done out 300 iterations. So you can see how the, how the start, we've got quite a messy wavelength and then eventually they all start to uh, sort themselves out. Um, I'm not sure, maybe if you did, uh, you know, 300, 400, 500 iterations, you, it, it may um, keep going and getting straighter. Um, I think if you do it by the cloud and it solves, then you set it to say 500 iterations and it solves it before then, it'll actually stop before the, um, before the test has gone the whole way. So, our test is run, uh, we've now got our, uh, our data as such, and so what we can do now is, is to set up some sort of, um, things to look at our data and how we're going to look at that. So we're going to go across to where we've got our air and we're going to turn that into a transparent. I mean, you could even go to a uh, wireframe if you wanted to. Um, maybe we'll do that. So let's go to that and go to the outline. That's better. Okay. So there's our outline. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually run... Um, we're going to add a, what's a plane. It's going to be the first one I'm going to show you, which uh, a plane will help you visualize the results on cutting planes. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. So what we're going to do is uh, select that. We're going to add a plane, uh, and then it's already added that in there for us. Now, if we look at this, I don't... Uh, these lines here, obviously, is, is bringing in some of the sketch lines from the geometry. I'm not sure how you... Uh, turn that on and on and off. Um, we've also got these other things out here. I'm not sure what they are um, and how to uh, to turn those things on or off. Um, I'm sure somebody may be able to explain that to me. Um, but you can see, um, you know, the velocity of our, our air as it goes through. We've got a high velocity here, um, you know, higher velocity here where it's moved. The air is moving quite. Uh, Quite rapidly past the car, and we've got a low, lower pressure zones, and the low pressure zones are obviously here at the front where the air is hitting it square on, uh, and at the rear here too, where we're going to have a lot of, uh, and you can see the different shades of blue here, so we've got quite a bit of turbulence going on in the back of there, uh, before it eventually starts to, to clear itself away. Um, so that's how you can do planes. Um, what you can also do is with this, um, I'll flip it this way and if you click on the output bar you can just hide that so it's just down here so it's still there you can hide it now these are like your uh, origin um, axes and things like that so what you can do is you can actually grab those and move this plane on any of those three directions uh, mostly you're going to want to go either from side to side uh, you may want to rotate it uh, if you want to rotate it view then you've got this curved line that goes there there's one that goes down to the bottom and obviously one on this side. So if I was to grab this and move this to the side, we can actually then look at how that flow is affected over various parts of our car. So we can look more at how the air is travelling over the front spoiler to the wheels uh, and across our car's geometry as it's going through our rear wings and things like that. So you can do um, multiple different studies in there. So for example, we could bring, keep bringing this over. So let's put this about midway along those wheels. Uh, I'll leave that one there. And then we're going to go up to add. Uh, we're going to add a second plane. Now we've got two planes listed here now in our study bar. Uh, one of those would be central to the car. And one's just to the side of that. So there you go. So a better way. You can see it there. Um, so what you can do is you can then always turn those on and off. Uh, depending on which one it is that you want to look at or create stills of. So we can do things like that. Um, you know, you might zoom in on this. You can then capture those as uh, an image, a static image. So you can save your picture as uh, various graphic uh, formats here uh, and save that in there. So if you want to put those documents in your folios, um, pit display items, they, they can do that. Um, dynamic image, I haven't really used that and you can do an animation which we might show that in a minute. So that's work planes, that's pretty much uh, a work plane. You, as I said, 
you can grab the curved lines and spin those around you know that way as well um, so that's that's how they uh, work I'm just going to try and straighten that up again now looks not quite there there we go um, so that's our, our uh, work planes okay so next one I want to show you we're going to look at traces um, so I'm just going to turn our work planes off we're going to do go to traces uh, within traces you've got uh, different um, styles of traces that you can use I'll just leave this on rectangular for the moment uh, whether, whether it's a grid or a diamond or a hexagon uh, we'll leave it a grid and seed density is one so we'll leave all that as, as stock and then and we can mess around that later we click on add again and now what we're going to do is work out where we're going to put this so I'm going to look at this front on so we're going to pick our car and uh, I think we sort of start here uh, let's try that again add click and you can see that you can come down you can create dots down and then you create the grid across now you can same thing with the arrows that are there you can then uh, grab the arrow and manipulate that so if you don't get it quite uh, lined up on your car you can do that you can also uh, bring that down a little bit depending on where you want it to be and go now doesn't look much on that angle but let's rotate that around and see what we've got this way so again we have the lines and they're changing color as it's going across showing the different pressure zones um, here at the back you can see the ones that are twisting all around in turn in the um, turbulence that's in there in behind here uh, what we can also do is we can now animate this so let's click on animate and play this and we can actually get our uh, traces to actually run over the car now you can um, if there was too many you can see it's quite complex you can or you, oh, before I go there you can save this as a movie uh, save the data table out of that um, we can edit this so I think you can go in here and you can change the um, to be able to change the that's all the different seed things that we've got there um, I'm not really sure that's this one oh so we can change the different things so if we want to look at them like lines we can change it to lines we can do comets it's going it's uh, playing a little bit quick but you could you can sort of see the ones that are blurring in the middle there uh, so that's comets you could do uh, spheres <laughs> um, you can do ribbons uh, so you can change the shape of those uh, and that works really well um, you can go forwards and backwards width you can change that so let's say make it half you can make them a little bit thinner it's a little bit easier to see through so you're starting to get a bit of an idea of where that turbulence is um, so we're just going to close that for a sec um, you should be able to like zoom in on areas too so uh, for example if we wanted to really get a good look at that you know you can zoom in on those particular things and see where those uh, vortexes and things are going um, I'm sure we can go here and go edit there oh, that was the same one that we had um, so you know you, you can fiddle around with that uh, and the same thing again you know we could actually then hide that let's, and we can go up here to say okay let's add another one let's do this one as a circular seed density uh, let's make that uh, 0.5 and see whether that makes a difference uh, grid will do as a hexagon this time just to show you something different click on add um, make sure that you look at the front of the car and we're going to go I think it's this way whoa I think I've might have messed this up a little bit so let's just remove that 
Um, so you can see that we've got a bit of a crazy sort of uh, shape going on and how it's going across. But it's still not bad, it's giving us a very interesting result on, on, our, on our car. So again, you can manipulate these things, change these around, you get different flow flows across our car. There is a bit of um, data that's obviously getting crunched and some uh, graphics that are going on here in the background to, to make this happen. Uh, let's go try and go to remove and see whether we can delete this set. That's a bit better. That's sort of what we wanted. We wanted a bit more square on. You can see that it's um, on a bit of an angle. We want we want want that on a bit squarer to our car. Oops, it's quite a bit of a lag going on here at the moment. So I might just try to redo that again. Go remove. Uh, let's go back to the front. Add. So we've got a hexagon pattern apparently. Uh, let's go with that. Our seed density is pretty high. That's not a bad one, that's showing, giving us quite a little bit of um, uh, disturbance across the uh, front of the car here, oh, across the rear of the car, sorry. So you can you can move your dots around to show different forms of, of data and obviously highlight maybe different areas of the car that you want to particularly look at, how it, things fly around various areas and things like that. So. Uh, that's sort of how you can set those things up so i'll leave the rest of that for you guys to uh, experiment with uh the next thing that you might want to look at then is basically trying to generate some sort of a report so i'm just going to stop that animation and you can like uh i think step that through frame by frame or something like that uh, but so we're going to do a report so we can go to report generator uh click on that you can then fill this out. We'll put um, you know various things in there. Um, and then we should be able to... So it's grabbing various things, I think. And if we go down now, you can see words flashing. Um, and if you open this up, we've got F1 test, because that's what we called it, prepared by me on one of the date. A uh, bit of a menu, scrolling down. There's our scenario and our car. Um, properties of the air volume that we had, properties of the ABS moulding that we had, uh, boundary conditions, etc. Uh, there's the mesh model, obviously you can't see the car. Uh, various data within that. This is that results that we were just looking at there. So you can see if we had a bit better picture there, you would be able to see the coloured plane. So there's a whole range of data there that you could take to your science class and ask your physics teacher to explain some of the uh, information there that you're interpreting and help you to interpret that. So that's your report that you could then use data from that to go into your tests and things like that. Um, and then obviously there's various other ones up here that you can uh, do depending on what it is that you're actually uh, wanting to look at. Um, when you do that, the, the uh, mesh comes back, so you'd always have to go back into outline again for that to come back again. Um, but you can turn these off, and depends on what what it is that you uh, are wanting to to look at and, and show. Um, you can go up here to show what different results on that particular plane. So we can look at static pressure, which will give us a different color scenario. We can look at our uh, different plane velocities that are on there, how they are effect, affected. Um, we can look at um, 
coefficients, uh, shear stresses and stuff like that. There's a whole range of different um, data points and things like that that we can um, we can look at. So that's it for this last video. Hopefully that uh, will give you some help in uh, setting up your data and go from there.